now we will go to the second lecture of week 4. In this lecture, I will talk about screw axis. Okay. And screw axis is one of the translational symmetry operations. Okay. The other translational symmetry operation is the glide plane. So, in this lecture, I will talk about screw axis. So, uh, second lecture of week 4 will be on the screw axis. Let us define a screw axis. A screw axis corresponds to a, to a ro rotation followed by a translation. So, uh, now we have to be a little more specific. Okay. So, the translation is along axis of rotation. Okay. So, um, now this is denoted by, so, so, so we will use the notation x underscore y. Okay denotes rotation by 360 by x and translation by by y by x. So, y by x in fractional coordinates. That means, y by x fraction of the crystal. Okay. So, uh, this is the, this is a definition of the screw axis. Okay. And uh, you can see what is happening okay, in, a, in, a, in a screw axis. So, you can and, and you can see why it is called a screw axis. Okay. So, there is a, so, so, so if you imagine this axis, what you are doing is you are rotating and then you are translating up. Okay. So, so, when you do these together, then, uh, then what it looks like is, it looks like this. Okay. And if you do it again, it looks like this and you can see that it will generate some sort of a screw. Okay. So, that is the reason why this rotation with a translation is called a screw. So, so this rotation with a translation is called a screw, with generates the screw like motion okay. and that is the reason it is called the screw axis. Okay. Now, the first thing you notice is that uh, since y by x has to be a fractional coordinate, okay, you should have y has to be strictly less than x. Okay. Remember, we said that uh, if you translate, if y is equal to x, then it is just a lattice translation, which is the definition of a crystal. So, that is not counted. So, y has to be strictly less than x. Okay. And uh, so, so uh, you can have the different fractions okay. and we will just see. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing is that, uh, is that uh, x is an integer, okay. x and y are integers or x and y are numbers that is they are natural numbers actually not integers. So, they are numbers. Okay. So, uh, they can be they can be 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. They can be any of the regular numbers the natural numbers. Okay. And we will see that this actually puts a restriction on the types of on the various types of screw axis you can have. Okay. Now, uh, let us like, let us look at, uh, look at an example and uh, we will look at an example using using coins. Okay. So, the coins have uh, two sides one is the heads and the other is the tails. Okay. And uh, if you imagine if you if you imagine that you had a if you if you had coins that uh, that had one side is a head 
Okay, and if you had a row of heads, okay, and uh, let us say you imagine that the that in the in the next row, okay, translated by by halfway, you have the same coin, but it is inverted. Okay, so so you see the tails face up. Okay. So now you can immediately see that if I take if I take this and rotate by 180 degrees, if I if I if I rotate by 180 degrees about this, okay. So if I do a C2, okay, then what I'll end up with is something that looks and 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 uh, of course I'm not I'm not showing this, but this is extending to infinity in uh, in both directions. Okay, so there are it's 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 extending throughout in both directions. So what I'll end up with is something that looks like that looks like this. So, so, so uh, what will happen is the heads and tails will get flipped. So, so you will have, uh, but, but it will be, it will be shifted. So, the, so the tails was, was here. So, I will show it, you will have, now you will have the heads here. Okay. Again, this tail was here, it will get flipped, it will get flipped here. So, you will get a the head here, this tail will give you another head, this tail will give you another head. Okay. And uh, on the other side, the heads will become tails, so you will get something that looks like this. Okay. So, clearly this is not a symmetry operation, C2 is not a symmetry operation. Okay, C2 is not a symmetry operation because in this new configuration, okay, so this tails has come here, okay, uh, this tails has become a head, but it has come here, okay, it has come to this position. Similarly, this tails became a head and it came here, okay, so this is the new position. Similarly, this head moved, became a tails, but it came here. Okay. Now, you can see that if I just translate this whole thing, by uh, so if i translate by half lattice okay by half of the lattice spacing okay so if i just imagine that i translate by half the lattice then you can you can see that now now these heads will fit on top of the heads so 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 you'll have exactly exactly each of these heads okay so so this, this, this will move up you will get it you will get it here it will remain a heads heads will remain heads tails will remain tails but these coordinates will be shifted and you can clearly see that what we did here is we shifted we shifted these light blue circles by half and you will get the original original uh, the original uh, crystal. Okay. So, this is a this is a nice example okay, of a of a of a screw of a screw axis. Okay, and uh, again again you keep in mind that it goes to infinite in both directions. Okay. Now, uh, what would be the index of the screw of the screw axis? So, the index would be so, so since you have a rotation by 360 divided by 2, so it is a 2 axis okay, and you are translating by half. Okay, so, you are translating by half, so y has to be equal to 2. Okay, so, it is a 2 axis and translation by by half okay so this is clearly a 2 1 axis 2 subscript 1 
axis okay so two subscript one screw axis okay let's now uh, look at an example of a crystal okay so so let's look at uh, diamond okay our favorite uh, our favorite uh, object for studying symmetry okay is the diamond so let's look at it and uh, let me use our again our favorite uh, fractional coordinate notation this is the planar planar representation in fractional coordinates and in this case i'll think i'll need only one so you have this is at x equal to 0 okay then you have uh, points at uh, different values of x this is x equal to half or i should I should not say x i should say z equal to 0 z equal to half then you have z equal to 1 by 4 and finally you have z equal to 3 by 4 okay so this is our diamond lattice okay and now uh, which I again I remind you it is not a Brave lattice okay we still use the term diamond lattice okay but it is not really a Brave lattice. Now if you ask where are the screw axis in diamond okay now uh, you can see the screw axis in the following way so let me so let me look at uh, let me look at this point. I am I am looking at an axis that goes through this through this point and can comes out of the screen okay. Now this axis okay so so you look at this axis okay so that it that comes out of the screen of paper out of screen of paper okay so it comes directly out of the screen of paper and if you look at this axis you can see that this is a so if you rotate by 90 degrees and then you raise by by one quarter of the lattice okay so 90 degree rota rotation okay plus so 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 you can see if i rotate this blue by 90 degrees it will go directly below the red okay so so it will go directly below the red okay then i translate by by 1 by 4 okay so if i translate by 1 by 4 then this blue will come directly where the red is okay so blue will come directly where the red is Similarly, you can show that this black will come directly where the blue is, the green will come where the black is and so on, the red will come where the green is okay. So, so now this this implies that this is a since it is a 90 degree rotation it has to be a 4 axis and the translation is by 1 fourth so it is a 4 subscript 1 screw axis. okay that was uh, easy enough to see and uh, and and remember we define the rotation in the counter clockwise sense okay so 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 rotations are counter clockwise okay now you can again see easily that uh, this point is also a 4 1 screw axis okay you can see again easily that uh, this point is also a 4 1 screw axis okay now what about uh, what about this point okay so this point okay this point i mean i mean i mean this the axis passing through this point 
So, so the axis passing through this point and perpendicular to the screen of the paper, okay, then I am referring to this brown color point. Okay. This axis, okay, so now, now if you rotate by if you rotate by 90 degrees, okay, then this is located at uh, 0, 0, 0, whereas the green is at 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4. So, it is, uh, so you have to do 90 degree rotation translation by Three fourth. Okay, so this is a four three screw axis. Okay, similarly, this point is also a four three screw axis. Okay, so so you can see that in diamond you have uh, you have both a four one screw axis and a four three screw axis. And uh, remember that uh, diamond is not a Bravé lattice, okay, and uh, it has these uh, symmetries, okay. And uh, you can also see that I mean diamond has, has, uh, it is not uh, center, it it, it does not uh, I mean it is not centrosymmetric and with respect to the center of the cube, okay. Therefore, you have these screw axis appearing in these places. Okay, uh, we'll we'll look more at the sc screw axis in diamond a little later. Now, uh, so now now we'll ask the question: What are the different types of screw axis that are possible? Okay, so what are the other possibilities of screw axis? Okay, now uh, so let's keep in mind that only two fold, three fold. 4 fold and 6 fold rotations possible, rotations are allowed. Okay, we saw that uh, these are the only rotations that are allowed for crystals. Okay. So, uh, you cannot have a crystal with, uh, with, uh, with any other except a 2, 3, 4, 6 axis. Okay. So, therefore, only possible screw axis. Okay. So, if you have a 2 axis, then it can have only one screw axis that is 2 1. Okay. If you have a 3 axis you can have both a 3 1 and a 3 2. Okay. Now, uh, if you have a 4 you can have a 4 1, a 4 2, 4 3. And if you have a 6, you can have a 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5. Okay. These are the only, so there are total of 11 possible screw axis. Okay, and these are the only 11 allowed screw axis. Okay. Further, we will just go back to the to the diamond structure. Okay. So, we will just go back to the di to the discussion on diamond. Okay. Now, uh, we said that you have this 4, 3 and 4, 1 axis, but they are related to each other in the following sense. So, suppose I had, suppose instead of translating by 3 fourth, I had translated by minus one fourth. Okay, so instead of translating by three fourth, I translated by minus one fourth. Okay, then you can see that this is equivalent to shin by minus one by four. Okay, then you can see that uh, that will be a symmetry operation. Okay. So, so in some sense the 4, 3 is related to the 4, 1. In, in 4, 1 you translate by 1 by 4, in 4, 3 you translate by minus 1 by 4. Okay. So, minus 1 by 4 uh, will, will you can easily verify that it will get you back the, the same uh, crystal because uh, I, mean, I mean if you for, for example, if you look at this particular screw axis, 
Now, if you rotate by 90 degrees, okay, this black point will be at uh, at uh, 0, 0, 0. Now, if you translate it by minus 1 fourth, this black point will go to minus 1 fourth. Okay. However, there will be a black point at uh, at 1 at z equal to 1. Okay. So, z equal to 0, if there will also be a black point at z equal to 1 and that point will get, uh, it will come down from 1 to 3 by 4. So, it will come on top of the green point. Similarly, the green point is at 3 fourth, you, you rotate it it will come on top of this red point, it will be at height 3 fourth, then you translate it by minus 1 fourth, it will come down to the red point. Okay. So, so you can easily see that uh, translation by minus 1 fourth is same as translation by 3 fourth. Okay. So, so, what it means is that, uh, is that uh, 3 1 and 3 2, okay. so these are opposite translations. Similarly, 4 1 and 4 3, 5 1 and 5 4, 5 2 and 5 3 and you can go on, you can see the idea, you, you can see what I am what I'm saying. You can also have, have 6 1 and 6 5 and so on, 6 2 and 6 4. So, all these are all these are re related to each other in the sense you just translate in the opposite directions. So, so it is like having a right handed screw and a left handed screw. Okay. So, these are these are the 11 possible types of screw axis that are allowed. Okay. So, uh, I will conclude this discussion on screw axis today and uh, this will conclude the lecture for today. In the next lecture, we will talk about the other translational symmetry element okay, in crystals that is the glide planes. Thank you.